All right, so this one is, this is definitely a moving source, right? And notice that the source that we're hearing a frequency of 225, but the actual frequency is 216, right? Um, so this is a higher frequency, right? Which means that the object is moving toward us, right? All right, so that's the first part of this, right? Is that we know it's moving toward. Now let's figure out how to get that number there. Uh, the formula for moving source is... Uh, plus or minus, uh, right? And in this case, since it's uh, a higher frequency, we know they use the minus to make the denominator smaller to make the answer bigger, right? Okay, so um, let's just plug our numbers in here. So we got 225 equals uh, 216 times 343, right? And then it's 343. And by the way, if you in, in this case, since we're solving for this velocity, if you make a mistake uh, with the plus or the minus, you'll just get like a negative, the right answer, right? Okay, so the next thing, the next thing to do here is uh, let's just go 225 over 216, right? Is uh, 343, 343 minus the motion of the source, right? And now we're just going to cross multiply, right? 216 times 343 equals 225 times 343 minus 225 times, right? I don't know what happened to that five, what's that? Okay, so let's see. And then uh, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, 216 times, right, minus 225, right, and then we're gonna divide by minus 225, and we'll get the US. <laughs> All right, here we go, parenthesis, left parenthesis, 216 times 343 minus 225 times 343. All right, right parenthesis, divided by negative 225. All right, are we ready for this? 13.72. Yay. There we go.